Good morning, everyone. It's 813 at iFiber One News Radio. Got a great guest in studio once again, Kathy Geis from the Mason Transit Authority. She's the uh, Transit Community Center Manager and uh, joke teller extraordinaire. Good morning. <laughs> Hello. How are Hello. you? I'm good. I'm good. I've got it. Well, my trip was to SeaTac. Okay. So I have, um, you know, a good airplane joke. Plane related a, a, humor. Airplane joke. That's All right. right. Go I only for have it. a prop. So see, there's I a nice airplane there. Hey, this is actually not the kind we would all fly on. No, it's like, uh, <laughs> so it's like a, a lady plane. calls an airlines because she's ha planning a trip to fly out the next day. Yeah. She calls the airlines and says, I've got a dog and it's a crate and I need to know the rules on that and sure. everything. And sure. the person on the other line said from the airline said, well, you know, the dog, the crate needs to be big enough so that the dog can sit down, roll over and lay down. And the lady became just the clam. I mean, she's like, oh my gosh, she got all excited. She's like, I'll never be able to teach him that by tomorrow. <laughs> all right. All right. That was a pretty good one. Yeah, yeah. That was a pretty good one. All right. What were you doing up at the SeaTac? How did okay. you get there? Okay. So this is awesome. Yeah. So people have been asking uh, quite a bit. And they, there's actually uh, quite a few people from here that actually already know the, the, the secret of yeah. getting to SeaTac uh, on, on uh, public transit. So there's actually three different ways. And the way that I've kind of, I've, I've I've taken two of the trips, but not the third one, and and that would probably be my least favorite okay. one, and um, because of time and hassle or whatever. Um, so if you're if you're living in the North County, um, Union, Belfair, all that, yeah. your best bet to get to SeaTac is to take the ferry. So you would either get dial a ride to take you to Bill Hunter Park or one of our other pickup areas using our schedule, uh -huh. um, and if you act, you know you really want to be picked up at your house. So if we can get to you and you're a dial a ride client, you can sign up to be a client and you're on our books the entire time. If you don't use it in five years, fine. If you use it three times in five years, you're at least in there yeah. and all you have to do is call so we can come to your house and pick you up if we can get there and, and it works for dial ride we could take you to uh belfair and bill hunter parks the yeah. main pickup there for now um we've got um a park and ride a temporary one and of course we're building our park and ride there so if you did that then you would pay a dollar fifty from belfair to get to the ferry okay and then walk on the ferry for free and then walk about two blocks up to Pine, you know, the main metro station right around Pioneer Square. Okay. And then you get on a bus there, um, and it takes you right to SeaTac. Oh. Well, so yeah, that's you're kind of bad. backtracking, but it's still a better way for the North County yeah. people, I believe, to get there. Um, so yesterday I did did it from Shelton, and there's two ways to go from Shelton. Okay. Um, from the way that I did it, I used all bus, and so it was extremely easy and there's a lot of options and we'll talk about the options sure. um, so basically I just rode from the TCC down to downtown Olympia I got on a bus at downtown late I waited about 15 20 minutes downtown Olympia and and the reason I say that is because it's just different yeah. your wait times are different depending on which route you take yeah and um, so I waited about 20 minutes just enough to get a cup of coffee and you know go to the restroom and get ready for my trip and I got on the bus in Olympia um, Olympia was um, three dollars. Okay. Okay. So you're you're in it already for a dollar fifty from us. Then you pay three dollars in Olympia. Okay. Get on a bus there. It takes you to the uh, park and ride, um, the SR uh, 112 park and ride. So it's the park and ride right up by. Um, Federal Way, it's right in there. It's called the, I wanna, I'll tell you exactly which one it's called. The SR-512 Park and Ride. So it's in Lakewood. Oh right yeah, there. Yeah, 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 right off the, right off there. So we got dropped off right there and that was really funny because that was about another 20 minute wait, but it was just enough time to go across the street to the Wendy's that's there. And okay. I got another cup of coffee and went to the restroom. And so that was, that's really funny because that's one of the biggest questions are like, oh my gosh, it's such time? a long drive. Yeah, I've got to go to the restroom. Yeah. But it's just enough to get off and each stop that you're at, there's plenty of places to be able to use the restroom and that kind of thing. So on, on that trip, then I'm on Sound Transit. So I wait for the Sound Transit bus, which is really nice. Sound Transit has really nice sure. buses. Yeah. The seats recline. When you get in those buses, because they they serve so many people traveling to SeaTac, you get in and it's just like in an airplane. They've got the luggage bins oh, wow. up above. Yeah, oh, you don't nice. always see that on buses because most buses don't go to the airport. Yeah. And um, so, but those buses that feed that, there's three different 
different routes that you can get out of there to get to SeaTac. They have the luggage rack and everything, and the seats recline. They've got lumbar lumbar rest. I was like, oh my gosh, Pretty these cush. are nice. Yeah, exactly. So we had 18 people on that bus that I took, and out of that 18, I kind of talked to people, and you could also see pretty obviously um, there were six couples all of them older couples and they were all traveling with their carry-on bags and so wow. it's really set up for people going to the airport wow. it's, and and get this so when you're going along the driver kind of announces different things and so like one of the things he did is when we were almost to where everybody comes into SeaTac when you're dropping your passengers off yep. the public transit is right there at the very end so it's it's at the very end it's the last one that and that's where you get off right so when we were on on our way there we we were just going over the sky bridge that that um, that link goes to and just before we got there he stopped there and he said if you're on Alaska Airlines you shouldn't you need to get off here and then go up the elevator oh, wow. over the sky bridge because Alaska Airlines is such a such well, a hike, hike right yeah. and so it was it was, was nice. it was just like you're on an airporter really because yeah. they know what you're doing and the drivers help you and give you tips on you know and he even asked everybody what airlines what it's just like if you're really? on an airporter yeah huh. so that was that was really great um so at oh i want to talk about the cost so that was three dollars and 75 cents from that lakewood park and ride for sound transit so sixteen dollars and fifty cents without any discounts and there's all sorts of discounts of course for um, people with disabilities seniors and youth um, but full full rate with no discounts round trip from Shelton to SeaTac is 1650 a person so I'm you're just there. trying to see the mileage here 73.2 yeah. miles one way from Shelton to SeaTac so you do your gas mileage do your gas in mileage there and, could, yep uh, yep and I had that yeah and too. so that's pretty good yeah it is yeah and and again there's many discounts and if you're a frequent traveler you know you can get the passes monthly passes yeah. things like that but what I what I found when I was talking to a lot of the people on the bus with me the sound transit bus I was just kind of we had like a little group discussion and they were all going for for the winter so or for a long time like sure. one couple was going for a whole month they were going on a cruise and um it, but they were flying out of SeaTac to California to get on a cruise boat and uh, a cruise ship and then um, the other ones were all going to like Palm Springs and Arizona for the winter mm. and so they didn't want to leave their car and and you know that the other thing is that if you're going to the airport and let's say you have a ride there but not a ride back or a ride back but not a ride there i mean it's it, there's lots of different opportunities or maybe if you don't want to leave out of shelton you could just leave from olympia sure. have your have somebody take you to olympia but but there's a lot of opportunities so i want to talk about the earliest opportunity to get out of here and get to SeaTac is 5 30 in the morning and that gets you to SeaTac at 8 46. now again that varies depending on which method you use uh -huh. right um so so you would want to you'd want to make your flights somewhere like mid-morning mid-afternoon maybe even later afternoon but your last chance to get out of SeaTac using public transit and getting clear back to Shelton is at 504. so you'd want to make sure coming back that um, and that's during the week that your flight gets you back in time to catch that that um, sound transit okay. bus leaving okay. out of there. Huh. And now, um, one of the things that I thought was really cool when I got to Inner City Transit, they gave me all these neat sheets, right? And um, Olympia to Seattle, um, Olympia Lacey to SeaTac, northbound and then southbound, wow. and then on weekends. And these are all your opportunities. And it tells you exactly how to do it to get there. One of the things I noticed though, is this is from March 24th of 2016. And when I got to Sound Transit at Lakewood, there were several more opportunities getting out of there to get to SeaTac than are on here. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, so they're leaving out of there like every 15, 20 minutes. It's it's really set up for people getting to the airport. I mean, oh, and the only other people that I saw really getting on there other than very small number of just sort of random travelers is lots of TSA people. Oh, that lots makes sense. Of, yeah, lots of TSA employees. Their commute. Yeah. You can find on Mason Transit <laughs> Authority's website a uh, trip planner uh, as well that's got some uh, information to help you route your trips at masontransit.org from uh, either side of the county as we were talking uh, Shelton opportunities and Belfair opportunities maybe the ferry a better option uh, if you're leaving out of uh, Belfair want to get out of town but uh, very cool masontransit.org also follow them on Twitter at masontransit 
You can uh, like and follow the hashtag MT Alert as well, so you're up to date on any sorts of information there. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, you're all over the place. Yeah, now, and the best way, really, if you're not tech savvy and you just don't feel comfortable doing it on a computer, yep. call that 427-5033 for our travel trainers we, or travel planners. We have people that will answer the phone, and if you tell them, I have a flight going out at 347 on Tuesday the 27th, they will tell you exactly all your options and which buses to catch you to get you there in time, depending on if you want to be there two hours early, an hour early, whatever your thing is about mm -hmm. getting to the airport. Huh. I like the O.J. Simpson. I love that. The O.J. Simpson where you just kind of go, not that I like O.J. Simpson. I like the O.J. Simpson commercial where he's running through the airport, remember? That's my deal because Jeez. if you're running through the airport and you grab anyone. What and year say, was that I got, It's a long time. Right. But if you grab anyone and say, my flight's in 20 minutes. They will take you there. Yeah. You get the little ride. Yeah. You get in front of everybody. That's right. Everybody doesn't like you because right. you're just, just like late. Because you didn't plan ahead. But you're really not going to see any of those people. <laughs> and, yeah, point. sorry, it works. Yeah. <laughs> That's a very good point. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. All right, we'll leave folks with that little tidbit of knowledge to uh, try the next time they're at the airport. Kathy, guys, it's always good seeing you. Have Bye. A good one. Thank you. Yeah.